it's your island girl and i'm back with another reaction video for you today and today i'm reacting to one woman's 17 british accents and this one is a anglo anglophenia look here look here yes <laughs> listen to me anglophenia listen <laughs> This one was recommended by Peter Day. Thank you, Peter Day, for the request. Okay, so we're going to get right into this one. So if you're new to my channel and it's your first time here, come on in, wrap back, put a smile on your face, and enjoy. To all my regulars, my schmegglers, my day ones, my sweetie pies, my sweetie poos, come on in, wrap back, put a smile on your face, and enjoy. Let's get into this video, guys. Here we go. Let me get my handed on the headphones, all right? Here we go now. Hold on, I press play. And <laughs> Here we go now, guys. The UK is incredibly diverse in terms of accents, and it just so happens that I can do many of these accents as my party trick. So come with me as I take you on a guided tour through all of the accents and archetypes of Great Britain. Okay. Hi, I'm Siobhan Thompson, and this is Anglophenia. And what I'm speaking right now is RP, received pronunciation, or you know, your standard BBC English. It's spoken across the country, generally by middle, upper middle, and upper class people. Think of Martin Freeman, Benedict Cumberbatch, or you know, most of the presenters of BBC News. So, okay. good evening. It's nine o'clock, and this is the news. I'm very important. Heightened RP is generally only spoken on film and television now. So you're gonna think of Nell Card or the Dowager Countess in Downton Abbey. Oh Gerald, I do love you, but you're so terribly, terribly poor. Now London is the accent that most people have. I'm used to that one. That one a while ago. You I'm used to that one. Most people outside of Britain can recognise, you know, that classic lock, stock and two smoking barrels. Get out of my pub! Go on, get out of it! Shut it, you <laughs> tart! East Anglia is a flat, boggy kind of place with a flat, boggy kind of accent. I'd love to give you an example of somebody that comes from there that speaks like this, but they all lose this accent as soon as they can. Stephen Fry's from Norfolk, but he doesn't speak like this because he's posh. Here's a kind of classic kind of East Anglia phrase. I done dropped my computer in the fan and it's broken. Now let's go across <laughs> the island to the West Country, which is a much... Oi! She's doing all of these accents. You're in the look. <laughs> Listen, guys. I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> it's rounder sound. It's farmland full of sheep and cows and apples. Think of like okay. Sam Ganji from the Lord of the Rings or Hagrid from the Harry Potter movies. Oh, you bloody yeah. kids, get off my land. Or, oh, Mr. Frodo, don't let him turn me into anything unnatural. <laughs> And then when you go down to Cornwall, it gets... I am familiar with that! From the movie again! <laughs> no, sir! A little bit more piratey. So, hoist the mizzen mast, Squire Trelawney. Now, Southern Welsh is this great sing-songy kind of an accent. Think of Tom Jones or Richard Burton. You know, rage, rage against the dying of the light. Bloody hell, I love Dylan Thomas. Northern Welsh. I love me some Tom Jones, so I can hear the Tom Jones. I know the Tom Jones accent, and I love it. I love it. <laughs> this is where the singer Northern Duffy is world. from. It's a breathier, thicker kind of an accent, and most people from there speak Welsh at home, and English is a second language. So, you know, diolch and fawr. Now cross the country to the West Midlands and Birmingham. It's a very nasal kind of an accent, mostly on account of all the industry that went on in that area. Cat Daly, who presents Anyone? So You Think You Can Dance, Anyone? is from there. And so is Ozzy Osbourne, you know. Sharon, where's the bloody remote? Yeah, that voice that he does isn't because of drugs, it's just where he's from. <laughs> the Osbournes, theirs are so thick. When I listen to Sharon and her husband, when I used to watch it, they're so thick. I, I can't help myself. I just love 
Um, British. <laughs> Scouse is your classic Liverpool accent. The Beatles are from there and so is Paul McGann. They were also made European capital of culture a couple of years ago by the EU, so don't tell me they're not cultured, all right? <laughs> Up into Lancashire and, you know, think of Christopher Eccleston or most of the cast of the Downstairs in Downton Abbey. Daisy, get those buns out the oven before they burn. Oh, Mr. Bates. <laughs> Downton Abbey. Yes, I do watch it. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm fascinated that one place, I understand it is a diverse culture, but come on, man. These accents range from area to area, and it's amazing to just listen to. Oh, across the Pennines to Yorkshire. Yorkshire. It's a much kind of flatter accent from Lancashire, and they cut off a lot of the words. So I'm going to pub up hill. Think of Sean Bean from Lord of the Rings yeah. or Game of Thrones. <laughs> One does not simply walk into Mordor. So in Northumberland and Newcastle, he's speaking a Geordie accent. So, you know, think of the Geordie Shore or Carol Cole. Remember, she got fired from the X Factor because nobody could understand a word she was saying. <laughs> or Billy Elliot. All I want to do is dance Bally, but me dad makes me box. <laughs> Edinburgh's the capital of Scotland. It's a very soft, maybe a little snooty kind of an accent. Think of Ewan McGregor or Dame Maggie Smith as Professor McGonagall. That's ten points taken Edinburgh. from Gryffindor, Mr. Potter. Glosky is a much thicker kind of an accent. Billy like Connolly and Peter Capaldi are both from there. They cut off a lot of the words, so uh, I have not any butter, so I've got to go to the shop, you know. Guys, are this real for real? Because it's crazy. How do you guys really keep up? Because she's coming from Newcastle to Glasgow to Edinburgh. And I'm like, they're almost close in range, but yet still it's different. Wow. And so up to the very north, to the highlands of Scotland, think of Amy Pond Scotland from Doctor Who, or maybe Sir Robert Burns. The best laid plans of mice and men gang after glee. Now let's go to Northern <laughs> Ireland, and it's all about the vowels with the Northern Irish accent like. So like, how now, brown cow? Liam Neeson is from there. I've got a very particular set of skills. I know he doesn't say it in that accent in the movie, but it sounds well cool, so, like... <laughs> and fun. I like it. Man, his accent. I'm just... Ooh, child, I can't get enough of it. And finally, Southern Ireland is obviously not a part of the United Dublin. Kingdom, but I can do a Dublin accent, so let's just do it. Uh, it's a pretty let's classic it. Irish accent with a lot of assonance to it. So Sinead O'Connor is from there. Nothing compares. Nothing compares. Not to you. Please. That is all from me. <laughs> Tell me if there's any British accents that I miss because I love a challenge. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. <laughs> Just listening to her and watching our facial expression was everything. I have, I can understand, I think all of the different accents from the different zones that she did, I can understand them. The la uh, the second to last one, not so bad, but when the one that they chopped the words off, that's something. <laughs> that's something. But I love it overall. From from left to right, I love it. I just love it. It just it's fascinating to hear somebody different than me. It's, it's as simple as that. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to go in the comment section. Tell me what you like me to react to next because it will be done. Thank you, Peter Day, for this one. Love you guys and I'll definitely catch you guys in another video.